Hi everyone, my name is Tony Riley. I'm your guide to love and relationships. Today I want to talk to you about a concept that lots of people talk about, the idea of a soulmate. What does it mean? What does that person look like? And most importantly, how do you find them? The first thing I want to say is that a soulmate can be so many other things than just a key romantic or physical relationship. A soulmate can enter your life as a friendship, a key support or a trusted ally. And also a soulmate can be a difficult and very challenging relationship too, but more on that in a moment. Some people like to use the concept of twin flames, but what exactly do I mean by that? Twin flame is often referred to in an overly romanticized way. People are under the impression that a soulmate is the other half of them and finding that twin flame will make them and their life complete. But it's not that and I'm going to burst this bubble. A twin flame is a way to describe you, both aspects of you, your innate traits and strengths and the less desirable or challenging aspects of your character. So who is your potential soulmate? The thing is, for a special, perfect for you soulmate to arrive, you have to be at peace with both aspects of yourself, the good bits and the less desirable parts, and really, you're perfectly imperfect. Now here's a concept that some people find a bit of a mind trip. Not every soulmate in your life is a perfect relationship. Yeah, sometimes soulmates are extraordinarily positive. That's the kind of soulmate who can be your best friend, your lover, or a supportive parent or colleague. But sometimes a soulmate can be there to challenge you. But you know what? Sometimes those who challenge us are actually the most wonderful and helpful of relationships because they can be the ones who bring out the self-destructive patterns in our lives or the friendships that are harmful or eating away at us. These are things we just can't see in ourselves. The friend who shows you how the lover in your life is eating away at your self-esteem or self-love may not be delivering a message that you want to hear. But if that message helps you to move to a better place, then just how important was it to be challenged? Sometimes I get asked about a situation when love turns to hate. When you may think you've found your true soulmate, but then later on, let's say 10 years, down the track you've changed or they've changed, and the love that you once thought would be there forever has started to turn bitter. How can it be that the soulmate you once loved, you now hate? Does that mean you were never actually a soulmate in the first place? The answer is they are. But now their role has changed, they're no longer your lover, but your teacher, here to help you experience emotional turmoil. Emotional turmoil catapults you to a new, wiser version of yourself. It makes you question life, why you're here, and what it is that makes you search for deeper meaning to your existence. Soulmates can be in your life for a number of years. We have different needs and sometimes are destined to have different soulmates for different times in our lives. Soulmates are every person we interact with in life. They're here to help us grow personally, to develop tolerance, empathy and compassion. Their role can be as our lover, a friend, a teacher, a child, but no matter their role, they are here to help us develop as an individual. To discover how soulmates work in your life, I explain in my book, Awake, The Purpose of Life and Why You're Here, and you can get it on Amazon or a signed copy from my website. Thanks everyone for watching. See you next time when I'll be talking about all the different kinds of relationships.